Tick, tick. Poche. Pochettina. Pochettina. Tick, tick. Poche. Terra. Brava. Good dog. Good dog, Jackie. It was very beautiful here in Molise, Italy, with these milk sheep herding them. And we're basically walking from field to field where there's good grass, such as the grass here called Sula, that the sheep are happy to eat for a while. And when they stop eating, it's time to move them on to a new place where they forget that they're full and start eating again. There's a farmhouse over there. This is their fields. We're allowed to be here because it's good for the field, for the sheep to eat it. Eat the grass and herbs. It's pretty laid back here. There are no big roads, not a lot of people coming by, which can be a problem at times for the sheep dogs, which are those those guys there around the, uh, around the horse. They're Mari Mani sheep dogs. They're white, they look like sheep, they live with the sheep. They're incredibly sweet, unless they think that you're trying to harm the sheep, in which case they will literally tear your throat out. So all of this is uh, for a purpose, it's to make pecorino, sheep's milk cheese. It's really an incredible labor. They are escorted from the crack of dawn until sunset in the fields, always accompanied by their guardian sheepdogs. And also here is uh, Jackie, the border collie, who is kind of like the whip. There are sets of commands by, that uh, she knows by, pretty Jackie. well at this point. By, Not perfectly, catch, but pretty well. Catch, Jackie, catch, catch, to have her run catch, clockwise, Jackie, catch, counterclockwise catch, around the sheep, either direction, Brava, as Jackie. the as come the by, shepherd Jackie, Jackie, uh, come by, commands. Come by, come by. She can approach Brava, slowly. Brava, she can charge them Jackie. and sort of do a fake attack that scares them. Away, she doesn't Jackie. hurt them at all. No, she can set her eyes on them. It's enough to put a good amount of fear into them. We're going to herd them up and get their attention by whistling. And usually they start coming. But if they don't, we can always use Jackie. Jackie, come by, Jackie. Come by, Jackie. Come by. She gets them from behind to get their attention, but they usually start coming. Terra, Jackie. Brava, Jackie. Good dog, Jackie. Te, te, poche, poche. And here they come. Little obedient sheep. You have to go out with these sheep for hours and hours and hours. They eat and eat and eat all of these different grasses. Right now they're eating Sula. I don't know at the moment what the English translation is. I don't recognize it by by eye. But uh, they have to eat constantly. If they stop eating, like some of these are starting to sit down pretty soon, I'm going to have to move them around and get them eating again. Just keep eating to generate the milk. But they need a variety of grasses to make their milk have the the biggest variety of enzymes possible from what I understand and this is going to result ultimately in a more flavorful cheese because the cheese is made here by Mario and Carmela are raw milk cheeses so the milk is not pasteurized they're really doing this you know pretty much the old-fashioned way this is this sheep are not fed on hay you know very rarely in the barn when they're put in to park or they fed a little bit of hay. I mean, they really fed almost entirely on these grasses. It's a very, very conscious effort to change and make a variety of the grasses they eat. So they're brought always to different fields. They also eat a lot of, um, or a fair amount of alfalfa. It's called herba medica here. And you do have to be careful with it because if it's wet from dew or rain, it's uh, poisonous for them causes them to fill up with a nasty foam in their stomachs that you then have to 
somehow puncture by inserting a needle through their abdomens, it's not good. But they can eat it when it's dry as long as they're, they've been accustomed to eating it. When the sheep have spread themselves out, it's a good sign. It means that they are relaxed and feeding happily. When they're afraid, they clump back together. They're not relaxed. They don't eat as well. They don't produce as much milk. So a relaxed and eating sheep is a happy and productive sheep.